Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Morning. Today we're doing something completely different, something we've never done before. We're going to Aquatica. Aquatica. Which is a water park that was built about five years after we came last in 2000 yeah. or something like that. So we've never been, we never came in January, we never came in March, so this time we're going to try it. We're doing something new for breakfast too. Yes, we're going to try Crack Barrel for breakfast. So, I mean, I'll give it a go because obviously you don't want alcohol in the morning. So it's it's a nice fit. Um, got my nice blue um, swimming top on. Let me know in the comments below how you love it. Um, so yes, we did want to take the folk to Crack a Barrel. But we're going to take them on an evening, but we thought we'd do something different and take them on a morning. So they're all coming there with us and then they're all coming to Aquatica with us. And we're going to try and get free parking at Aquatica as well. Apparently it's $13 a car and um, I think that's a rip-off. So we've got something for tonight too, haven't we? Well, have we? August Cantina at Galaxy's Edge. Well, drink. we haven't decided whether we're going to go yet because apparently it's really, really expensive and you only get 45 minutes, which obviously will stop you spending all that. We probably will, but you'll see but, later. And we have a Tower of Terror Fast Pass as Ooh. well. Uh, and um, what else have we got? Beauty and the Beast. I'm not doing that. Right, here we are, Cracker Barrel, the old country store. This is the Cracker Barrel that we went to in March for an evening meal, but a lot of people have told us to try it for breakfast, breakfast haven't we? And uh, the folks have never been to a Cracker Barrel before, so that's new for them. Here they are. Get them in the uh, rocking chairs. Yeah, get yourself in the rocking chair. Yeah, but you want to sit and wait for you. Yeah, so we'll go and get a table booked and then we'll look around the old um, store. Oh, they've got Christmas stuff now in the, um, the uh, Cracker Barrel store. Nick's going to put our name down for breakfast. So we're just going to have a mooch around the store. So this is the um, quirky thing about Cracker Barrel. You come in, you put your name down for uh, a table and then you go and look around the old country store, which is just like bits and bats of everything from Christmas ornaments, jumpers, clothes, toys, Halloween things. So it just makes the wait for your table go a little bit uh, better. So at Cracker Barrel breakfast is served all day so you can actually get it at nine o'clock on a night. Oh no, I remember that the last time we did. Yeah, so uh, we never had breakfast here before as I said so this is a new experience for us. Oh, old timers breakfast. They're all right then. Oh, well, they're fine, they? Yeah. Grandpa's country fried breakfast. So it's all like really traditional food. Um, wholesome food. Yeah, like wholesome. And um, we really liked it here when we had as as meal. Mm. Apart from they didn't sell alcohol, which Nick wasn't too keen on. Wholesome fixings. Oh. Apple and cinnamon oatmeal. Right, let me have a peruse of this menu. Right, breakfast has come. So I've got a um, kind of an omelette type thing, white egg omelette and some turkey tomatoes, wholemeal whole toast, grits and, and some fruit. And Nick's got, what is your got? A kid's meal. What is it? I've no idea. But, well, I'm it's, sure you have an idea. buttermilk pancake, buttermilk um, biscuits, sausage pate, hash brown casserole, which I thought was going to be corned beef hash, but it's actually hash browns with cheese. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So it. I'm going to enjoy this breakfast now. Yummy. Right, so Gannets have got theirs. Oh, no, yeah. Mine were 4.99 but it's sort of like a kid's meal. It's not. No, I see. It's not like Another free plate of yeah. butter biscuits which we didn't we get. We get that, really. that looks a bit bland. Yeah. 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 Very good. That looks very bland. Yeah. And look yeah. at Brenda, greedy booker. Yeah. That looks nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that actually was bloody gorgeous. That was delicious. Mm -hmm. So what I actually ordered was buttermilk um, uh, biscuits, keep calling them pancakes, buttermilk biscuits, which for anybody in the UK who doesn't know what a buttermilk biscuit is, it's basically like a savoury scone. A bit drier, more, yeah, more savoury. It's, yeah. it's a less gritty scone, it's, it's quite, it's, it's halfway between bread and a scone. Are you going to try these It's grits? creamy, it's really nice. No, I'm not. Grits are, these grits are a bit like porridge or something. It's, and it's good to put like jam in it or something. Have like you that. tried it? Not yet. I tried it when we were in January. The yellow ones with cheese in. It was like mixing tile grout. I'll try one of them. So I had um, I had the biscuits. I had uh, a sausage pate on mine and um, some hash brown casserole, which is actually hash browns with cheddar cheese mixed in. Must you film me while I'm eating? Well, you're pulling all these extraordinary faces. People want to see it. And then, as, you, as usual. You get unlimited coffees. A nice light breakfast. It was only 4 dollars and all for that. 
which is really good for a breakfast. It's actually cheaper than what you would pay in the UK for a bacon sandwich. So, this is the one, this is the Cracker Barrel that we were in in March, where we had the evening meal. Right, go on, what's your verdict? It's just like porridge, it's quite nice. Has it got that gritty taste though? Not a little bit. I always thought grits were like potatoes, but no, it's just it's just like porridge. Now put the um, jam in it, it's just like porridge. Yeah, but what about the texture? Is it, oh, is bit. it bitty? Bit bitty, but not oh bitty. god, that makes me that makes my stomach turn. Right. right, so for all that breakfast and all that coffee, it, it was twenty one dollars thirteen, which we think is an absolute bargain for that. It's even uh, more of value than yesterday's. It's about Eighteen pound, then, that's something like that. Yeah, really I've good had value. About nine coffees, so yeah. I'm actually bouncing. Now. I can feel it a bit now. My head's bouncing all over the place. Oh, it's Christmas at Cracker Barrel, Nick. It's Christmas at Cracker Barrel. It's all decent stuff. This yeah, no it's nice. Balls and, and, and um, it's, face flannels. it's quite cheap stuff as well because we're used to Disney prices. Look at them. Fresh Christmas scents in a bag. Mm. Ooh. 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 I like that. It smells like Play Doh. I like that. LED story glitter book. Book. Globe. I like this. Oh, what's this? Like what's this? Another scent. Oh, oh, it's a Christmas tree scent. Oh yeah. How much is that? What, what do you do with it? Oh, well, I don't know. It's, it smells like Christmas trees though. I'll leave Nick smelling that. Oh my God, wonders never cease. We're actually buying something from a shop. I'm having that. Yeah, and I want this to hang on a door. Weakness kicking in. So every Christmas I'll always get it out and I'll think, that's from Cracker Barrel in Florida. Oh, that smells amazing. Get hold of it then and go pay. Well, I knew you were a friend of Dorothy, but I think you're taking it to the extreme with that. They give you it as you're walking around to put your goods in. Don't bloody lie, you've picked it up because you want to buy it. I quite like this marble. Right. It's getting quite noisy in here now, it's stressing me out. Let's go. Right, come on. Rock a gym, Bob. I'm off to Aquatica. I'm off to Aquatica, bye. So it's our first ever trip to Aquatica. We've never been, uh, so we're hoping it's good. Apparently it's, it's got one of the best fast lazy rivers of them all. Oh, did I bring my trunks? Well, have your best hope so. Oh, shit. Right, here we are, driving into Aquatica for the first time. We couldn't find any free car parking um, because they had signs all over the place that said we could be towed. So we've come to pay for the car parking. Which is $13 a day. Yeah, which is $13 a day, it believes, even though we've paid for the tickets, so you do have to pay, which... Um, well, we got the oh, all, all day, day dining deal. Oh, now we should have come here. Damn <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, it's $25? What? Um. Oh, you best ring your mum and tell her. $25, what a rip. Rip off. Right, so there's the ticket prices. Uh, so you know uh, if you want to come and get a ticket. So there we go. Um, we wouldn't we make got, We got SeaWorld and Aquatica included. Yeah, with our Discovery Cove. We weren't expecting the car park to be $25. Nick looked it up and it said $13, which we didn't think was bad. Obviously that was a really old price. Had we known, we would have come in one car. So the folks have got to pay $25 also now. So uh, an expensive parking day. And obviously the Disney water parks is free parking, which is always a bonus. So, so far it has a bit of a feel of Discovery Cove a little bit, I think, doesn't it? Well, I'm thinking Volcano Bay. It yeah. Volcano Bay. It's kind of, uh, there's the Lazy River, or one of them. Oh, we'll get my mum and Matty B under that. It. I'm already liking it. <laughs> um, it's got a, uh, a feel of Discovery Cove uh, mixed with Volcano Bay, which is good for us because we like both of those. Oh, towel return. So you can get your towels here as well if you don't want to bring towels. So if you fancy doing the dining plan that you saw in our SeaWorld videos in March, you can get it here. So all around the park at the entrance to each um, river, they have these sneaker keepers. So if you want to leave your sneakers on or your flip-flops, you can just put them in there. So that looks like a lazy river, like they have a volcano bear that pushes you around, which we absolutely love. And just look as intense as Volcano Bay. No, it doesn't actually. Just be careful as you're walking around because they've got these things that squirt. So my shoes are absolutely drenched now. There's a look at the Aquatica uh, part map. If you want to have a look at that, you can pause that and uh, I've just took a ball check that out to carry down the paper map. <laughs> right, we've managed to find some beds and chairs in a shade. So, I mean, we only got here about what time? 11 o'clock maybe? Half past 11 and it's 10. 
and it's very busy. I mean, there's lots of spare seats and, and beds, but they're all in the red hot sun. Not enough umbrellas here, so not liking that already. But we've managed to find somewhere, so that's good. So um, I'll reserve judgment until we've been on all the rides and slides. But um, we've got somewhere, and we're just waiting for the folks to come and join us. <laughs> you had a look of complete panic on your face when we went to that ring. That's what we went to look. That bowl? Oh, funny. If it were a face, it your face, it would just be absolute terror. <laughs> oh my god. That was the funniest thing ever. So we went on that huge dish and we told her that we were going on the other side, on the tame one. I thought we were going on the tame one at all. No, we weren't going on the tame one. That was hilarious, that was really funny. <laughs> right, we're heading out now after that eventful uh, ride on, what was it called, ours, what we went on? Um, Ray's, Ray Rapids or something yes. like that. Ray Auntie, Brenda, Auntie Brenda was very impressed with it, I think, as you can tell by her screaming. I've actually got a sore throat from laughing now so much. That was the most hilarious thing that I have seen this holiday so far. <laughs> and the look on her face, which I didn't quite capture it, when a big wall of water just blasted her face and it just stopped all sounds for about a second. <laughs> and then she started again. That so, um, amazing, that. we haven't spent too much time here because we've actually got the Yoga's Cantina reservation tonight. We want to get some lunch before. So I think we're just going to call up Panda Express on the way back now. So, uh, let's get out of here and get to Panda Express. Are you chicken? Oh yeah. Right, here we are, Panda Express. This is kind of a tradition for us, isn't it? We always go to a Panda Express when we come here. Yeah, I mean, we it's love orange chicken love in Florida. Orange chicken. orange chicken in Florida, it tastes so different to orange chicken. Lizard. Lizard where? Aww. It's cute. <laughs> Thanks. Get into Panda Express, you big girl. Okay. Oh, the smell of orange chicken and sexy. Oh, yay, yay, yay. So, are you having orange chicken then? Well... Oh my god, that looks nice. Well... Shanghai Angus steak. I want it all. That really looks nice. That's the honey sesame chicken. Why don't we try a little bit of that? Well, you get that and then I like it a lot on the Ah, no. Honey sesame chicken does look nice though, I must say. What have we got around here? Orange chicken. Mushroom chicken. Oh my god, black <laughs> Angus steak. I had, a, I had a try of it and it's absolutely out of this world. So we decided to share half a black Angus steak. Well, why don't you share uh, it if I like uh, it? Uh, uh, get off. And Nick's got um, orange chicken and we're going to share. Only if I like it. You're going to it. share? That was, a, that was a, no. a, a condition of me getting something different. No, no. We're sharing, sharing, sharing. Right, we've had our Panda Express. It was very nice. I'm a little bit full now. We've left the folks there. They're in their own car today. Um, they're still troughing away. 
Uh, we've got to go call at Walmart on the way back for some water and some bread and bits and bats. And then we've got to rush around, get ready, and go to Hollywood Studios for Og... K Og, Og what, how do you say it? Go on, I'll have another August go. Cantina. Olga Cantina. Olga Cantina, which is the Star Wars bar. We've got a reservation for ten past six. Apparently you can just get two drinks and 45 minutes each. Although, I don't know why, because um, Galaxy is he's, he's dead at the at, minute. At those prices, it'll be one drink. Mm. So we'll see what that's like, and hopefully we'll have some fun there. Right, we're here at Hollywood Studios. Um, the Skyliner is running, but I don't think there's anybody in it. I think they're just testing it after the uh, the breakdown the other night. So we don't know when that's going to be available to be used again. Thankfully we got on it to try it before it broke down. Apparently somebody said it was a magnet issue. I think it was Tim Tracker that said it was something to do with one of the magnets. Hey but not seen him yet. Right, so we're through security. The gondolas have stopped again, so obviously they are testing them. Um, we have got a dining reservation, well it's not a dining reservation, it's a drinks reservation at Olga Cantina at 6.10. Which is about five minutes. So we've got a race across um, Hollywood Studios, down Hollywood Boulevard, to Galaxy's Edge, and then run to Cantina. Right, we're in the queue. So even though we've got a uh, reservation, you've still got to queue. Here's the menu. So I'll be getting something without alcohol. I'll probably maybe try this Jabba Juice. Um, so that's all the side with no alcohol. And then on the other side is the alcohol. So prices so, start at about 16, 15 is cheapest there. 85 dollars there. 85 dollars for a for souvenirs a... board. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think I'll be going for a uh, Jabba Juice. Non-alcoholic. Yeah. These are not the droids you're Persistence looking for. Persistence activity was reported nearby. These are no not the droids. Is above suspicion. <laughs> Show me your identity card. These are not the droids you're looking Looks for. Looks like you're not the last Jedi. That's affirmative. That's a hot response. Your identification. I don't need to mind it. I show them your identification. <laughs> there we go. That's my ID. Well, tell us what you're doing on Batu. Batu. Going for a drink. I guess all the interesting planets were full. Go on. We're, we're bringing this Have alien back. We're what? bringing this alien back. Oh, no. What is I've no idea. <laughs> 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 we're going to be on this end. Thank you. All right. We are waiting for the Cantina Band music to come on because you would expect that when you uh, come into the Cantina Band and we reckon that because you get 45 minutes and two drinks they'll play it at least once Please already bopping. This is the resident DJ, which is a little droid with a little mixing desk. Uh, this is an alien. She was in here when we got here. She's just making funny noises and squealing like she's on a ride. And we've ordered our drinks. I'm getting the uh, fuzzy. This. I'm getting the fuzzy two two ton or whatever it is. And. Um, Apparently, it, uh, you have to have some kind of allergic reaction to it. Yeah.
song once, once for the whole thing but the theming is absolutely spot on it's yeah. one of those things that you've got to do once and order juice and not or even bottled water and never do it again i mean i will never go back in there again now the, the price of that is just absolutely it, it's like it's, well, it's theft. ridiculous we love disney and we 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 pay the prices to uh, a certain extent we paid those prices but that is uh, daylight robbery and we won't go back in there because of the prices yeah. but, I'm glad we've done it, but I won't do it again. Yeah, now we've got to save it to pay for it. Oh, and there's Millennium Falcon, so it all makes it worthwhile. I just bought a bit of that. Right, we're having a little mooch around the merch shop as we're on our way out of Batu. Nick's always just, what? You, you're only interested in the price, aren't you? No. What, well, how much is it? Oh, I'm not buying well, that's not bad, relevant. actually. 29 99 And what is it? You Don't know. It, can but, you actually put it off? But we could have got about five of them before we just paid for all those drinks. Well, yeah. So they've got um, little stormtrooper costumes. Oh, Star Wars bags. Oh my goodness, I like them. I want a stormtrooper gun. I want the full kit. So I want the full kit. I do like. Are these um, Tie Fighters? I thought they were bought Christmas baubles. Oh right, <laughs> yeah. I do like. I do um, quite like some of this merch. I must say. Got this little kids on there. I do like uh, like some of this merch. If you want to buy me some, no, I don't. So there's a proper. How much is that? Can you buy that? Oh my god! Display only. Please do not touch. Six six one five. Six thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars. No discount applied. Mm. You don't take annual pass. Right, so we're heading out of Batu. It's probably going to be the last time we actually see it this this time. We're saying it's probably going to be the last time we see it this time. And the next yeah. time we come, whenever that is, um, Rise of the Resistance ride should be open, so that'll be new for us. I mean, the theme in here is, is second to none. It's fantastic. You can't knock it. No, it's just, unfortunately, obviously, they've got to put the prices so high to pay for it all. Right, so we're arriving at our next destination, which is basically where the hairdressers the other day told us about. It's basically, there's a resort called Margaritaville, which is a pretty brand new resort from what we can understand. And near it, there's a British pub that has its own version of Big Ben. Yep. Nice parking, by the way. What? You're completely cockeyed. Mm. And, uh, I'll just straighten up. How could you miss that? parking space it's the size of a caravan do shut up right so we're at this pub now and i'm not sure what it's called it's called well there's two there's one called the ford garage which is apparently a bar that's that's shaped like an old-fashioned ford garage from the 1960s and then this pub one of our patrons said uh, recommended it as well becca she, rec she recommended Margaritaville, but she not Rebecca Baker. Then Rebecca Baker. Yeah, ended. Becca recommended. Right, so it's there in front of us with the big Ben above it, and it's called Yeoman Cask and Lion, and then next door to it is Studio Movie Grill, which I believe is a dining theatre, and then the other garage is Ford's Garage, which is basically the the 1960s garage that's actually a, a bar and a restaurant, but it's actually designed to look like a, a, a drive-through type thing. Well, they've got a red telephone box. So that's that's not half bad. Let me see if it smells a piss. And um, no, it's quite clean, I think. Oh, it does actually. Oh well, it's authentic then. It's very busy. I think it's more of an eating place than a bar, but it's okay because we're slightly peckish. 
And here's the, what do you call these buzzbiz? Bee features. Bee features, that's it. What did you call them? Buzzbiz. Buzz it's a bloody bird. I thought you called them things buzzbiz on the red. No. Well, you might do, but it's a bee feature. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. It's very, well, I won't say it's very British, but it's nice because you've got an open window here. And then at the back of you, you've got an open window there where the cinema is. Well, they're showing soccer or in the United States. Um, so at least they've got the right sport on. Have we got any brown sauce? Oh my god, we've actually got brown sauce. I'm gonna go and get a menu. We've oh, got brown sauce. HP. Oh, Must that's be that's English. Good. It's definitely English. So here's some of the uh, mains. Fish and chips, bangers and mash. Um, Her Majesty's skirt steak, shepherd's pie, shrimp pot roast chips. dinner. Shrimp and chips? That's not very British. So it's, well, no, but... It's looking good, actually. Right, Nick's gone for a blue moon, and I've gone for an iced tea as I'm driving. I love iced tea in America. I just wish it was a thing over in the UK, because I, I really miss it when we go back to the UK. The only place you can get like iced tea is if you go into like a supermarket and buy a bottle of Lipton's. Which you never do. No, it's just not the same. You won't get a pub in, in England serving iced tea, and I love it. Okay, something else that isn't British, the portion sizes, oh my god, I thought this was going to be like a little snack. That is insane. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> it's oh massive. Oh my god. How much was that? Let's have a look. Um, if I get down low enough, it'll actually block my view from seeing you. It's Twelve. high. $12.49. So, let's tuck in. Wait and, uh, they're not this? actually. It's called, they're called nachos, What's but... This? Whatever, whatever. But they are called nachos, but they're not actually nachos. They're more like um, potato crisps. chips, crisps. But it does look nice and fattening. So yeah, it's um, it was all right. It was a, it was a, yeah, it had a, it had a slight British feel if you looked at the flags. Um, but like we said, we don't sugarcoat anything. What you see from us is basically what our opinion is, and um, so we didn't like Aquatica. August Canteen were far too overpriced, <laughs> and that wasn't a British pub at all. <laughs> So all in all, like all in all, we're having a lovely time. <laughs> that, that, that actually looks more British. Car on, car on a jack. I quite like the look of this place. It's inside. just not got wheels on it. Look, look through the window. Well, we'll show you when we get inside. Yeah, we'll go inside. Right, I'm going to give the camera to Lee now because I, I want to have a look around myself and I'm drunk. Right, back to sober um, vlogging from me. I so like I like... This. Oh, shut up, Nick. I like the look of this place. Ford's garage. Um, it, again, it looks a bit more foody than just a bar because everybody's eating, but I think I want a dessert actually Because we've just pigged out today, so I might as well just continue to pig out So I'm just going to show you the inside because we're actually going to have a table outside. I really like this place. Look at that car up there I really really like this. Place. Oh another car up there So um, we're heading outside for a uh, table outside because it's nice and warm tonight Right, so we're sat outside and um, I'm not hungry, but I must show you this on the menu. Just look at that burger there. They actually stamp the top of the bread with the Ford symbol. He's currently flicking through the dessert menu. Yeah. The yeah, yeah, swi yeah. Swipe bites, uh, yeah. sweet bites. Swipe bites. Whatever. Chocolate peanut butter thunder cake. Mmm, it's an old that I would like. It's a chocolate cake loaded with crushed Reese's peanut butter cups and chocolate drizzle covered in creamy peanut butter frosting. Oh, Great, well you. done, it. You absolute gannet. Lovely. Note the lack of dessert on my table. Yeah, not the, the Excuse me, there. that's not a dessert, that's a drink. Can it I just point cool. out, can I just point out right, that the cut the condiments that you get with this is these blue cloths, they're a little let me just get it to focus. These blue cloths are basically like um, the hand wipes that a mechanic uses. And you also get like a towel, okay? like a hose a hose clip that is basically uh, used as a, a napkin ring, which is quite a nice touch. And then obviously you've got a gannet there that's cut that key lime pie in half because half of that's mine. Yeah. Um, I don't want the whipped cream, I don't like whipped cream. What about the cherry? No, you can have the cherry as well. Nick's got a couple of patrons, new patrons to say hello to. I do. So I want to say hello to Julie Lightfoot. Hi Julie. And Ken Lynch. Hi Ken. And I will be emailing you guys in the morning because it's a bit late now and I've got a few thumbnails to do tonight. Right, we're back in the villa and we're, we're just showing the folks, the um, video from today's water ride.
Right, Nick, finish right, the finish vlog. vlog. Go on. Well, let Brenda finish it. Go, Go on, Neil. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you're new to this channel, please do click the subscribe button. We're just nuts as this in every video. And give us a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and share it on your social media. And we'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's Florida vlog. Bye. 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 Say bye. 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 bye.